Super Series tournament final, but it's her first since reaching the final of the 2012 French Open. So that's 20 months ago. So 20 months since her last Super Series tournament final. She is the number six seed. She's up one place in the world ranking this week to number eight. She has been as high as two. And as I said just now, she is the Olympic bronze medalist. She's already won one tournament this year, and that was the Said Modi Grand Prix gold, which was her first title for 15 months. And she has had a couple of really hard matches, both of them against Chinese players in the very first round against Sun Yu, and then in the semi-final against the number one seed, Wang Shexian. That was an absolute thriller. If you were with us yesterday, you certainly would have enjoyed that. An hour and 16 minutes of wonderful women's singles. So the Indian player, 24 years of age, Carolina Marin, turned 21 just a little over two weeks ago. Number 11 in the world ranking, has been in the top 10, just five weeks in the top 10 as number 10. And her win-loss record for the year translates into two previous finals, the European Championships, which she won in Kazan in Russia and lost in the final of the Spanish International. Now, isn't that impressive? All of her matches so far in straight games against Fair Dasari, first round, the number three seed, Sung Ji Hyung in the second round, number eight seed, the World Championship bronze medalist, PV Sindhu in the quarterfinal, and yesterday against Yui Hashimoto. And nice to see yet another Japanese player doing well in the women's singles, Hashimoto, the first ever Super Series semi final. It was, in fact, for both players because Maureen, uh, before this Australian Open, never got past the quarter-final stage of a Super Series event. So as you can see, this is only the second meeting between the two players. The first encounter was the quarter-final of last year's Indonesia Open. So as I was saying, players ready to play, please. Kurt of uh, Denmark, our umpire, and Mark Spate, uh, down as from Germany. We were discussing yesterday that I think he's English, lived in Germany, and now has emigrated to Australia. <laughs> you love telling that story. Well, this being new territory for Carolina, how much, what does that mean? Is nerves going to be an issue early on? In theory, yes. In practice, she is such a feisty character that I think that she will see this as an opportunity rather than a pressure situation. She will see this as, yep, I'm on a roll. I know I can win this because quite frankly, over a year ago, the only previous encounter, this left-hander from Spain has improved considerably mm -hmm. over the last 12 months. And because of her character, because of her fighty spirit, her, her feistiness on court, I don't think this is gonna be a problem. Well, time will tell, and she, uh, as you said, turned 21 just a couple of weeks ago, and uh, her ambitions in the sport, she's looking to be world number one, and she wants to win an Olympic Ladies gold and medal. And on that right, gives her the one, focus, the ambition, India. and these are the stepping stones she needs to take on that journey. And on my left, Carolina Marin, Spain. Carolina Marin to serve. Love all. Play. Yeah, it's a good positive start. From sign and eh, well. One love. Sina says she's a fan of Roger Federer. Wonder if she can remain as calm as he does on a tennis court. Wow! Yeah, and he was looking pretty Very impressive at Wimbledon yesterday, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Just 
turn the game into an art form. The grace. You spoke about how feisty uh, Carolina Two, can be. It'll one. be interesting to see how much she roars and gets into it into today's final. The interesting thing is, is, as we made comment while we were watching her quarterfinal against another Indian play, player, PV Sindhu, sometimes I think when she's focused, she doesn't yell and scream quite as much. I think it tends to be a little affected at times. I don't know whether it's to urge herself on or, or maybe it's a psychological battle with her opponent. And in, a, a form almost of intimidation. lovely now, I was slightly critical in the early stages uh, yesterday of Sina Nawal when she was playing against Wang Shoshian about taking two. the shuttle late deep in her forehand corner that time moved perfectly reached up took it early and then she can play the winner what a difference oh, that is a new shot she's developed in recent months very, very Four, effective too. Two. Perfectly executed there. Again, for our viewers at home, is there um, an issue playing Five, a left-hander? Sometimes in tennis, left-handers have a bit of an advantage uh, in the service department. Is there any idiosyncrasies about playing a left-hander? Well, first of all, I need to, you to explain why it's an advantage for a left-hander to serve in tennis. Just on the ad court, when they swing it away from the right-hander. Yeah, but my point is... Why isn't it the same advantage for a right-hander right to the juice court? Okay. All right. yeah. Because it's still swinging the ball by slicing it out to the backhand side of the left-hander who's receiving that yeah. from. It's because a tennis ball is round, mm -hmm. so there is no advantage right whatsoever. It's just all psychological because people... Uh, right-handers and left-handers don't practice the serve enough to, to implement against... A left or right, or right hander. hander. Yeah. Everybody practices as if they're they're playing against a right hander. There is a specific scientific difference in badminton mm -hmm. because of the shuttle and and the way that the shuttle is is made. And we literally use goose feathers. Four, five. And the goose feathers, 16 of them, are slotted into a cork base, and they're always slotted in in the same way, right over left. Well, it depends which way you look at the shuttle. Mm -hmm. It could be left over right if you, you know, but they're always slotted in the same way. Now for a right-hander with what we call a normal slice, Service which over. is slicing uh, a, a, across the line from deep in the forehand Six, corner and you will play four. a cross-court shot. Mm -hmm. The spin you create on that for a right-hander when you're hitting with the feathers is different from a left-hander who would hit against the feathers, technically playing Five, exactly six. the same shot. shot. Yep. So you're creating a different spin. So, technically, physically, there is a difference for a left-hander and a right-hander. And also, I think it's very, very interesting that all the top Service speeds over. we've had in smashes in the world of badminton have come from left-handers. Ah. Fu Haifeng, yep. Tamboon Hyong from Malaysia, uh, in the women's, Camilla Rutiul, and I believe, and I'm not a scientist, and I wish somebody would tell me, but I believe there is a distinct advantage because of the way the feathers go into the shuttle for a left-hander hitting a, f a full-blown smash. Yeah. So Eight, that was five. a very, very long, very complicated answer to say yes to your question. 
Yesterday I got the shortened version when you said no. <laughs> uh. Well, at the moment, the lefty's behind. Got another Jordan point Silva. back. Six, eight. Service for court. Oh. Service Double server. action, says Mark Spate. Nine, six. Now, wouldn't mind seeing that again because you're only allowed one forward motion of the racket. Ooh. Well. I'm confused. Well, I'm not in the best position to see. A balk at the start of that serve, perhaps. <laughs> Service over. Seven, nine. Moment, they were all in command. Ten, seven. This is a good rally. Well, with that miss, the number six seed goes to the break. 11-7 up. I need you to interpret this. Struggling to hear what Madhu is mm. saying. Something about the cross. Pushed it around the head corner. Fernando Rivas, Spanish coach. He looked pretty calm in there as well. Yeah, he's a calm man. Very good influence on his players. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I saw them practicing the other day, and he is a tradesman. 11, 7. Back here at the Play. State Sports Centre, Homebush in Sydney. Oh. Women's singles final. And at the moment, Sena Awal of India has the upper hand. It's Carolina Marin of Spain. Oh, bit of extra sting Service in that over. one. Yeah, and even after that rally, no yell Eight, from 11. Carolina Marin. That's very, very nice play. Now, I think we heard Coach Madhu saying in the interval there that Sina Nawal should lift or pressurise to the round the head position of her opponent. Well, when she said that, I felt a little bit surprised. There's the lift again. And again. See, I think Carolina Marin's movement to that round the head position was particularly good. I'm not sure that I would have necessarily uh, specified that Service as a over. tactic. 12, 8. 
I may have completely misunderstood mm. what Coach mm -hmm. Madhu was saying. String gone. Here come the decibels. Nine, twelve. No, oh, I don't think it was going out. A little look down towards the line there from Sine and Awell. dive there on her knees Carolina Marin gets up so quickly mm. all to no avail in the end I was just going to say she did a good job to dig that one out and then just couldn't quite get back into position 13-9 crowd here in Sydney have been very, very good. They've been getting into all the matches, supporting their favourite player. Oh, there's a lovely shot. She knows it too. Fist pump to finish it off. 14-9. Over. Did well there. Ten, fourteen. Just swiping across yeah. the shuttle there so that she didn't hit the net. I think Sine and Awol is moving better than I've seen for a long while. Very, very impressed indeed. Service over. 11-15. Probably why Coach Madhu told her to play deep into the round the head corner because with shots like that from Carolina Marin from deep in the forehand. That is absolutely delightful. Over. We 
getting 16, to the, towards the danger zone here for Carolina Marion. She's in two minds as to whether to change the shuttle or not. European champion wants a different one. And it's nice to see players agreeing for once. The one thing we do know, and we saw this in the semi final, is the fact that both these girls will fight 13, for 17. every point. Yeah, they're both terrific mentally on court. Mm. That dogged determination just never to give in. And it's not just within the match, yeah. you see it within every single rally. Service over. Oh, it's a good skill on the net play from Simon Awell. 18, 13. And she really kept her nerve in that uh, semi-final victory over the top seat. Yeah, I thought it was very impressive from Simon Awell against Wang Xiaxian. I did, uh, obviously, we took 14, notes yesterday. 18. I think it was in the second game, wasn't it, that Sainanay will lost at a, after a run of points. She called for the tournament doctor because mm -hmm. she's got blisters on her toes and more padding or something was applied. And I've especially tried to keep note of her movement. And just a few rallies ago, I said she's moving better. 19, so, obviously, 14. the blisters are not a problem, they're not yep. an issue. You, you couldn't be moving the way no. she is at the start of this final if it was an issue. It'll be interesting if she does get behind it, the blisters do. Really <laughs> not just what, saying. What are you suggesting? No, 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 if it does become 15, an issue. 15, 19. <laughs> A run here. That's the first game is gone. Well, that's what you call perfect. 15, 19. Oh, it's almost going to stay at the top of the net. <laughs> up a little bit. 19. Opponent gets within two shots. He's got the serve. <laughs> Service over. No, this is the short answer that you would have given me yesterday, Jill. I'd have given it to you again <laughs> just now. I thought I'd jump in and give it to myself. <laughs> 17. <laughs> Game point here for the number six seed. Oh, lovely 
play Service under over. pressure. Eighty twenty. Oh, I like that little stare across the net too. Unbelievable. Oh. has gone in the racket, I think. That's why she made the error. So, opening game, Tanewal, 21-9-18. Well, this camp would be... Job's not done while we're in the uh, driver's seat. There's still plenty to do. See the two camps there. Quite animated, both of the coaches. Here is one of the real sites and places to visit while you're in Sydney, the Queen Victoria Building, the grand old lady of Sydney. And if you like Carolina Marin and you love shopping and you love going to the cinema, well, this is a place to visit. There is some fantastic shopping to be had and some fine dining, wonderful cafes, a real highlight of Sydney. And speaking of highlights, here are the highlights from the first game taken by the sixth seed, Saina Niwal of India. second game. Service over. One, no. What does Carolina need to do to turn it around? Well, I thought it was exceptionally good opening game from both players, to be honest, and I think it only came down to a, a couple of shots here and there. I think Caroline so Marin, uh, certainly One has been all. matching her opponent with speed around the court. I think the big difference in that opening game was the quality of uh, Sina Nawal's net play. Mm -hmm. So, in other so words, if you want to turn it around, you've got to take the net away Two. from Sina Nawal. One. Let's see if she can do that. Yeah, I thought it called because it touched the, sh the racket of Simon Three, Ewell, one. landing out. Service over. Now that's obviously what Coach Madhu was Two, 
three. referring to. There's a lovely little hold and flick from Sina Noel. There she is. Madumita Bish. Player from my era. Good friend of mine. Well, she was quite animated during the break. Just trying to... <laughs> she always is. Whether you meet her in the training hall, wherever you meet her, she's, she's a real character. She's lovely. See her in the background there, clapping and cheering, urging sign her on. Yeah, if it gets close, she won't be able to watch. <laughs> Which sounds funny. If you're a coach, you can't even watch. Four, three. <laughs> Did you see that, coach? No, I wasn't watching. <laughs> oh, stop. Well, oh, as the players have. A bit of by play here. Yeah, psychological games. Come on! Oh, hear that from Simon Awell. Yeah. Well, Five, you're not three. the only one that can shout and scream. She's letting her opponent know that she can do exactly the same thing. Oh, that was going out as well. Oh, Ooh, now, Carolina Marin's going to have a word here, and rightly so, because I think there was a call from Simon Awell before the rally was actually dead, and that can be distracting. Come on, come on, come on, it's okay. Come on, Carolina, Carolina. Well, Carolina, Carolina. Marin is very right and I think the umpire in this instant who's a very experienced umpire yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to yeah. Say no okay? I don't have to say anything I'm, not, I'm instructing you to, to uh, be quiet now and you should not talk to her so stop it stop it Ooh. well I think I have to say I think that's harsh because there was no question sign and a will called out and celebrated before the rally was over. I totally agree with you. I think uh, Sina thought she was no chance of getting anywhere near that and started to celebrate, yet she got her racket to it. Mm. And I think for Carolina Marin to get, get the talking to uh, was not exactly justice. Oh, there's some looks being exchanged in the court. Mm, and this is Seven, times three. for the Spaniard. Six straight points here from Sain and Ewa. There, there's the yell again now from the top ranked Indian player. Mm, this is well. We've seen Eight, three. Carolina Marin been feisty and vocal in the past. Oh, both players. Oh, she is pumped now. Well, I'm not surprised on a run of eight straight points now. Nine, I can't help three. but wonder whether the umpire's words to Carolina Marin has actually sort of thrown her off a little bit. She will be seething inside. Oh, she produces a magic over. shot. Four, nine. Lovely angle, took the pace off it. Dropped it inside the sideline. Service oh, point, oh, service point. Service over. Again. Double action. She's going to feel that the whole world is conspiring Ten, against her. Four. In fact, I don't think she's that far away from tears.
had missed it. Now, this is where the coach needs to do his Eleven, job four, because interval. she mentally is in disarray. She's a game and 4 11 down. Well, this young lady is in control in the box seat. Up a game and leading 11 4 at the mid game interval. Heading towards the Star Australian Badminton Open women's title. And I agree with you. She, young 20 seconds, Carolina, 20 seconds. struggling to get all of that out of her mind and bring herself back. Eleven four play. I think the break could have been the best thing that happened to Marin, although Nawal is in that form that is irresistible. Yeah, I thought in that mid-game interval that Carolina Marin was struggling to keep a check on her emotions. And like a lot of sport, momentum is a huge thing. And momentum, when you're struggling mentally as well, it's hard to arrest it off your opponent. 13, yeah, four. 10 of the last 11 points going to sign an AWOL. In fact, my maths is sadly wrong. Over. It was 12 of 13 points. <laughs> Even more impressive. 5-13. She needs a few more of those. Just get a bit of a run. I feel like the whole world's not against us. I just, I just watched that serve. I can see why she's getting called on it now. I hadn't noticed it before. I think the service judge is right. Yeah, there's an error. You know, just to explain completely on the serve, Six, once you start 13. your first forward motion, that is counted as the start of your serve. So you're not allowed to move the racket in a, in a backward direction again after the first forward motion. Yeah, no, I, can, I can see now. I can see it. Service over. 14-6. This is not looking good for a 21-year-old from Spain. Service over. You know, sometimes the miss hits work for you. Not often, Seven, but they do occasionally. 14. And right now, Carolina would love a bit of luck to go her way. No, I think unless she has a bit of a, a run and a bit of good fortune, I think that she's going to be in big trouble. I think she's already in big trouble. But... Oh, that's great yeah. retrieving. Yeah, and as with the opening game, it's the control at the front of the court from Sine and Awal that's making the difference. 15, Perfect seven. example in that rally. Oh, just looking closely at this low serve. So the racket starts coming forward, then it there's a little hesitation. You can hesitate, which is why that one wasn't called a, a fault. You can stop the forward motion, but what you can't do is then take it back, back. again. 
So on the occasions when she's been called, I can see that now exactly. 16-7. Look at the control that Naywell has at the net. Uh, finally at the back. She comes straight back in. Oh, it's just long. 77. Yeah, we haven't had a challenge in this match yet, have we? This women's singles? I don't know that anything's been close. They've either been outright clean winners or... A few long oh, that off. is Very magnificent. So 8.17. Oh, yes. Yeah. 9.17. I'd love to see Marin with a run of points here, just get her confidence back. A bit of pressure on Naywal. Well, I wonder if Coach Madhu noticed the same as 18, I noticed yesterday nine. with Sina Nawal in that deep forehand corner because I can't remember in today's final her taking one really late. All of the physical effort of getting back and taking it early and then being able to play the winning smash like that. My oh, goodness me, it pays dividends. I wonder if they've been working on that on the practice courts earlier today. Oh. And again, perhaps we were understating the blisters and the effect that it had yesterday with her movement because she is gliding across the court. Yeah, no. I mean, you, you don't recover from blisters overnight. If it was a problem yesterday, it'd be a problem today. Miraculous cure. Rally. Oh, it's long. There you go, you've got your first Sign challenge. The world yeah. challenges called out. Well, you might as well have a challenge. Looks up to the giant screen. I thought it was clearly long. But then I don't think I got one of the the calls <laughs> challenges right yesterday, did I? Wait a minute. I think you might be right this time. Yeah, no, not close. Challenge I was waiting for a Jill Clark not Sign even the world. close. <laughs> One challenge remaining. Service over. 10, oh, look. 19. She's about to close her eyes. It's getting too close. Until that point, she played almost faultless badminton today, Sina Nawal. No, I think she was right to go for it anyway. 11, 19. You've got such a lead, might as well. It just looked off balance as she was taking the shot. But you're right, you've got enough points in the bank. Service Hands over. Up. Match point. 20. Match point 11. He's got nine to play with. Oh, 
and only needs one. The women's singles champion at the Star Australian Badminton Open for 2014 is India's Saina Nawal. And again, another fan is going to gladly accept a racket as a souvenir. Salutes the crowd, and the crowd salute her. Thumbs up. I think she's been in Australia too long. And this is the way the 24-year-old did it. And three titles down, we've got two more finals. Men's doubles and then, of course, the men's singles to finish off the Star Australian Badminton Open for 2014. Time now to head down to the medal presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, to do the women's singles prize presentation, we have Mr. Paul Eric Hoyer, the president of Badminton World Federation, accompanied by Miss Geraldine Brown, the president of Badminton Australia. To present the medals of the runners-up, Mr. Paul Eric Hoyer. So there's our runner-up. To Miss Carolina Marine of Spain. Disappointment. Some tears there. The medal of the winner of the singles to Miss Saina Nawal of India. And our victor here in 2014, our champion. So gets to hold up the perpetual to trophy. The to the runner will go on that. As they say in the classics, Ladies but that's not all. There comes a uh, nice juicy check. The runner up. That's and the winner is the now of India. The winner. And the crowd acknowledged the performance of these two women. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we have men's doubles action and then the men's singles final.
We are coming to you from Sydney and this is a bird's eye view of the magnificent Sydney Harbour and all the delights in the background. You can see the city centre, you can see the iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge and of course in the distance there is the Opera House. Some of the magic scenery right here in Sydney of course. We are here for the eighth stop on the MetLife BWF World Super Series. Yes, and with our next final B men's doubles, chance for us to look at the current destination Dubai uh, rankings.